Radio Rising friends, Sandra from For Your Chi. Welcome to your September of 2024 reading. Wow, um, I had to go back and watch your August reading to see what I said there. There was nothing there really that paralleled this reading. It's a completely different reading, uh, but you know, there's a lot going on and uh, it could be stressful this month. So prayers to you, make sure you're getting a lot of rest. Uh, make sure you are keeping up your routines, health routine, you know, supplements, whatever you do uh, to make, because you may, you may be expending a lot of energy this month. Let's put it that way. Now you start off the month of September with a bang here. First, this is the usual reading here. First six houses on YouTube and the remainder of the readings on Patreon. Tier two is what you want. And as always, I'll put the booking link below if you want to book a session. You start out the month with a death card. First couple of days of September. There's an ending that's showing up in your life. You also pulled travel. For some of you, you may be forced for one reason or another to back out of a trip that you had booked for the weekend for Labor Day weekend. For others of you, this is heavy duty eclipse season. You actually may be traveling for a funeral or something like that. If that is the case, I am so sorry for your loss. Your money, you're working very hard, but you're receiving or seeing very little as far as the amount of efforts that you're putting in right now. You do have healing, healer, healed. Now, this could be, Leo, that your physical body is healing and therefore your money is healing as a result. Because A, you have the energy now you know, you're back to full health or you're almost back to full health, you can go out there, you can make the money. Um, for others of you, this may be talking about something that's coming up that I see in your sixth house because sixth house does rule work, but it also rules health. So um, we're gonna get to that in just a minute and I will uh, give you the breakdown with that. Your third house, your brother or sister, they are going through a challenge right now. Um, probably money related. They are being guided to go with this business idea that they have though, uh, to make some extra money or money on the side. Your fourth house, you have another challenging card, spiritual strength. The energy where you live feels challenged and your son shows up or a younger male energy. Um, now, this could be that your son comes to visit you. This could be that your son, if he's not visiting you, if your son lives with you, this could be that your son is having a challenging time. Um, and I'm here, he's, I'm hearing he's causing problems at home. Uh, you know, this could be a behavior, behavioral thing. Um, this could be like a rebellion type thing. This could be that he's not feeling well, okay? So pay attention to that because you may need to um, do some kind of rescuing here for him or on his behalf. You may need to get him help. You know, you may need to get him a therapist. If you're saying, Sandra, I already have a therapist, but my therapist is not working. You may need to change a therapist. Um, you know, just the I know so many people I've gone through it with kids, with myself, for them, uh, that, you know, you just go through therapist after therapist. I think one year I went through eight or ten of them. Some people are just not the right fit, and so therefore they're not helping you. Um, so take that as it resonates. Or you may need to take your son to see a doctor, or you may need to take him to see... Uh, a second opinion 
because the first actor didn't do anything for him or the first actor made it worse or whatever the case may be. Just keep an eye on this here, okay? Your, um, interest, okay, let me go back. The fourth house also rules your father. If this is not talking about your son in your home, this could be talking about your father, where your father is um, being challenged in his life right now, and then you show up and you have a conversation about problem-solving suggestions that he could try, or uh, maybe he needs help finding a resource to assist him at this time. Your fifth house, work and health. I'm ahead of myself tonight, not work and health. Socialization. Fifth house is socialization, fun, friends, dating for those of you single Leos. Positive movement forward here. I love it. This is creative energy. Um, you could be meeting a lot of really cool people right now. If you say yes or go on any social invitations, parties, gatherings, things like this. Um, it's also a good time to try that you know how they have those classes where you meet up with friends and you do artwork if you're into that I totally would do it um, and meeting new people in those types of arenas they also want to remind you to be yourself Leo because you are the shining unicorn you are ruled by the Sun and that is what makes you so special and so unique and people want to be around you and they look up to you and they just think you're so cool. The bottom of this card says the situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. And it looks like the sunlight's in this card and you have the sun in this card too. So sun power times two here in the fifth house. Fifth house might be the best house in this whole reading. Oh, besides the twelfth. But we're going to get to that in the extended. Your sixth house. Here we go. Work and health. I have a split message. Work and health along with debt paid off. For some of you, this is going to be talking about a job opportunity, but you have more than one opportunity this month as far as job or posi job positions are concerned, right? Because of course you could be live working for one company and they may have multiple openings uh, that you have been, you know, your name has been thrown into the hat for. One position or one job will eventually pay your debt off. The other position or job will not. Okay. I actually went back and looked at your August reading, like I said. The only parallel that I saw was that you pulled this card in the 12th house last month. That was in the extended, obviously. And I told the Leos at that time, you know, so last month, three last month's 12th house would have been a prediction card and message for the month of November. I told the Leos then you may want to book a reading with me in November because of that. Now this might be part of the reason why I said that. Uh, because you may need someone to look at this work situation for you. Now if this is not talking about work, this could be talking about your health. Now, the debt paid off in the health category, along with Choose Wisely, you may be looking at your options of how to pay your medical debt off because you may have incurred a significant amount of medical debt, like a lot of people have. Um, so you may be looking at options. One of those options is good, the other's not so good. Someone may be looking at having a conversation with a bankruptcy lawyer about filing bankruptcy because medical debt can be discharged in bankruptcy um, quite easily. Um, but as 
everyone knows it's not without some kind of consequence, right? So that's why you have to get professional help with a very good um, bankruptcy attorney so that he can, or she, can go over with you um, all of the consequences of doing that, uh, but someone may be looking at that. Another thing is like looking at a debt consolidation loan for your medical debt, um, but <laughs> I don't know. The interest rates are so high, I just can't imagine anyone doing that right now. But regardless, you may want a reader to look at that. It doesn't have to be me, just someone that you trust. Someone who's accurate, for goodness sakes. Okay, let's look at your tarot cards of who's around you in your seventh house of primary relationships before we go to the extended. We have the swords here. So this is a Libra or an Aquarius or a Gemini. You have, here we go, to do to do the water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, but you have the world card, which depicts all four elements. So I cannot rule out any zodiac sign for you. All 12 zodiac are on the board as far as your partnerships are concerned. If you want to follow me in the extended, again, the link is below. Tier 2 is what you want. We're going to be going over houses 7 through 12. 7, your primary relationships and business partnerships. Your 8th house of intimacy, taxes, contracts. Legal matters, the source of your significant other's income, your ninth house of school and travel, your 10th house of career or your mother, your 11th house of your child or your best friend, and the 12th house, what's about to happen three months from now in December, which looks absolutely amazing. Many blessings to you, Leos. Take care.